It's Maria here from Fort Recruitment. With restrictions slowly being lifted up and things going back to normal, I'm sure that we'll see each other very soon back in the office. So the question is, are we ready for this? And how do we handle it? Um, we had to quickly adapt to working remotely. And now we have to adapt yet again to working at the office. So today I wanted to talk to you about what employers can do to assist employees with their initial transition working back in the office. Here are some tips on how employers need to change their management style in order to assist employees. The first thing that employers need to do is to focus on communication. When initially people go back to the office, they're going to be really stressed. They haven't seen each other in a while. They probably have to follow some kind of protocol for social distancing. So the first thing that employers need to do is focus on that and make sure that's clear and people are following the policy. But the second thing is to really give them a warm welcome. It's essential that employers get the chance to speak to the employees and maybe even do a one-on-one -on -one with them to check how they were doing over the long time working from home and welcome them back to the office. Another important topic that employers need to focus on is flexibility. This will be really tough. Going back to the office, there's a lot of things that need to be finished. A huge amount of work needs to be addressed and employers need to focus on working with clients as well if their business depends on that. So then the question becomes, where is the focus on employees and how is the initial stress of employees going back to the office being handled? That's when employers need to offer also some flexibility. It's important that in the first few weeks, employees feel at ease that they can take also their time to take care of a relative that may be sick or do something additional that they used to be able to do when they were at home and just ease into working the office rather than being stressed out initially with it. And what about performance? Performance is a critical topic in any employer-employee relationship and it is the foundation of how this relationship will continue to grow and develop. For employers, performance evaluation is very, very important and critical to their business as well. Over the time of working from home, they were coming up with different ways on how to manage performance and how to calculate it. Now, when they're back to the office, it's essential that employers have a one-on-one -on -one with employees and tell them what performance means to them and how the employee was doing while working from home. After that, some lessons need to be learned. Either the performance was good and there were a lot of things that were improved from working remotely, or there were a lot of things that need to be improved and worked on. It's essential that employers are open about this to employees and they come up with a strategy on how to improve performance. It's important that they set up a meeting and discuss those points and then come up with an action plan on how to resolve them. And finally, it's important for employers to also take this opportunity to do an introspective on what has worked when working remotely and what hasn't. Do they want to implement some working from home options in the future? Or was that a complete disaster for them because they were not technologically advanced? What are things they can learn from this experience that they can take back into their work and improve on. It's not just about improving the employee performance. It's not just about finishing all the work and managing it successfully. It's also about improving and growing and learning from this difficult experience. So employers need to really take the time to sit down, think about the results of the recent changes and how that affected their business and then come up with an action plan on what they can improve and what actions they can take to grow further. This is just my take on what employers can do initially to make sure that they have a successful transition when going back to the office. But it is, of course, different for every company and every firm. So I would love to hear back on your thoughts of what can be improved and done by employers to do this successfully. But what's important overall when going through this process is really caring about employees. Employees need to feel supported and they need to feel comfortable and they need to make sure 
that they can manage the stress of getting back to the office. And this is really all that the employer needs to focus on initially. After that, things will slowly start to pick up and fall into place.